Hello everyone and welcome to another Steam tutorial. So we've recently discussed how to create a custom artwork showcase that matched your background on your Steam profile. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'd suggest doing so. I'll also have it linked in the description for referral later on. Today we are going to be discussing how to create an animated artwork showcase using GIFs to try to liven up our showcase using some simple tricks. The two programs I'm currently using for this process are Adobe Photoshop CS6 and Adobe After Effects CS6. So let's begin. First I take my middle piece of artwork and I open it up into Photoshop. This is where I'll add some elements that I deem to be awesome and spice up the showcase. In this instance, it will be Spawn. Remove the background and then add some effects to place him in the scene a little better, such as a gradient overlay using colors based out of the background and an inner and outer glow also using colors based out of the background. Now we can save it. Let's go ahead and jump into Adobe After Effects. Open a new composition, set the width to 506 and the height to 808. Set the duration to however long you would like the animation to go on for. This is an important note, your GIF file size cannot exceed 8 megabits or you will not be able to upload it to Steam. Keep it short and sweet guys, mine will be 4 seconds because it will be a simple loop. Once we are in our new composition, we will import our middle piece of artwork that we have modified earlier in Photoshop. Drag and drop it into the timeline. At this point I will now import another file, a fire element from Action Essentials 2. We're going to drop it onto the top of the timeline. You'll notice that it has a black background, so we'll remove that by right clicking the item, go to blending mode, and select screen. Now it's just a freestanding effect in your project. To resize, hold shift and drag a corner inward or outward until you've reached a desired size. Now to match the color, right click, go to effect, color correction, and select hue slash saturation. Grab the master hue knob and rotate it until you found your color. Now for the other eye we will just copy our element. Select it and hit control C for copy and control V for paste. Right click on the copy, select transform and click flip horizontal. Resize and rotate it if necessary and place accordingly. Add a new solid layer and select a color of which you would like to add a glowing effect. Grab the polygon tool and roughly shape around what you're wanting to glow. Click the drop down menu under mask and play with the settings. Feather the shape so it doesn't have such sharp edges and adjusting the opacity is what will give us the pulsing effect. Make sure you are at the beginning of your timeline and click on the stopwatch next to the mask opacity to set a starting point for your effect. Set the opacity to zero so that there is no glow. Go to one second and then change the opacity to whichever number has a desired glow to it. Go to the two second mark and change the opacity back to zero and so on and so forth down the timeline. Copy, flip, resize and rotate to match the other part of the X. There's a glowing preset that you can add to the glowing layers as well to increase intensity. Just type glow in the effects and presets tab and drag and drop it over the glowing layers. Now I'll add my username to the project as the finishing touch. Again, we will add the glowing preset and adjust the radius up and down along the timeline for the pulsing effect. Now we can render it. Select composition at the top and then select add to render queue. Click on lossless here and change the format from AVI to H.264. Now click render. Now we're going to head back into Photoshop. Click file, select import, then video frames to layers. Locate the project that we've just rendered out of After Effects and open it. Click file and select save for web. Make sure you've selected gif here as the output and take a look at your file size in the lower left corner. This is where you can try to adjust your settings if you're over the limit by reducing the colors in the image or various other settings. I tend to keep my projects shorter and simpler so that I never have to decrease the quality in order to lower the file size. Once you're happy with the quality and the file size doesn't exceed 8 megabits, you can save it. You now have your GIF artwork ready for your Steam profile. Follow the steps in my previous Steam tutorial video on how to upload it onto your Steam profile and you should be set. These are the techniques that I've taught myself by messing around in these programs and are by no means meant to be considered professional. I do think they are effective for the do-it-yourself type of person with little to no experience though. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I covered the basics on creating a GIF for your Steam profile. If you have any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload a new video every week. Mostly gaming videos unless someone requests a tutorial on something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cold's Edge Knife Skin. 
literally crafted from the fin of cold blood itself. You wanna poke a fucking shark? This the shit you use to poke the fucking shark. Please no. Ah, you fucking bitch! You bitch! You bitch! Oh, you bitch!